Okay, today we're going to be learning logs, and this problem that we have here, we're going to solve by the end of the Can class the period. Question? No, we're going to solve by the end of the class period this problem. So first, I'm going to explain to you the laws of logarithms. Okay, number one. Number one. Whenever you see here, we are adding logs right here. Whenever addition, addition. So it is means four x minus three, forty x, forty three x. Can you just let me explain? I mean, why are you in this class? You shouldn't be taking dual. Okay. So adding means multiplication. That's law number one. Law number two. How does it equal multiplication? It means multiplication. How? Because when you add logs, you multiply what you're logging. Really? Can you give an example? Yes. Can you give okay. me an example? You <coughs> an example. If I had log base of 10, 4x, and I was adding it to log base 10 of 5. You chunk it, right? No, I don't chunk it. Where'd you get that sign? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, blue marker. What you do is when you add them, you get log base 10. Basically, you're just combining the logs and you multiply 4x times 5. And I'm sure you guys know log 10, you would get you log base 10 of 20x. So that's an example of when you add. Now, when you subtract, you divide. So that's the next one. So if now this, you can chunk it. No, now I cannot chunk it. Just can you just calm down? Now hey, when I subtract, don't get mad at him. If this was a subtraction, then it would be log base ten of. 4x divided by 5. That's how you would put it together when you said, pay attention! Oh, can you pay attention, sir? Yes. What kind of teacher, please? What kind of teacher? Joseph, man, no child left behind. Yes. Okay, so log base 10. I don't care, this is going to be on your test. So log one? base 10, 4x over 5. That's what happens when you subtract. Now, the third law is whenever you have a coefficient, Do you have a coefficient that goes to an exponent? So, if it was 2 log 10, this would just become an exponent to square. You take that off whenever you are combining logarithms. So, number 4, the last rule that we have today Whenever you have um, log, it's how to change it to exponential. So change to exponential. So log base of 10. Brenda Estrada, report to front office. Brenda Estrada, report to front office. Stop hitting each other. So log base 10. Or here's an easier one. Log base of tw uh, 525 Chunk it. equals 2. You change it to exponential form, it would be 5 squared equals 25. Logarithms is used mainly to find exponents, as you can see. But I think Thomas can explain it better than me. Yeah, well, so, come on, sit, just sit on, sir. Just, now that I've explained just, the rules. Just, no, no, no. Sit on. Just sit on. Alright, right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to eliminate the coefficient by What we're doing. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to move the coefficient to S, X, to the, as an exponent, so we're going to have it. What 
What's the five? Does it stay the same as the other one? Yes. Why? Because it's the laws of Does it one half mean square root? It could mean, but we're going to do that later on, not right now. Yes, sir. Got 99 on the test. Excuse me? Nothing. It's 100. Alright, so now that we changed all the coefficients, moved all the coefficients to its exponents, now what we're going to do is we're going to combine it. two logs. Not yet, son. Not yet. Now what we're going to do is combine. Now what we're going to do is combine log five, log base of five root x plus one to raise to the second power plus log base of five x squared plus six. So, <coughs> what is that going to do? You should say a joke. <laughs> you should say a joke. Like, uh. No respect. No respect. No yeah. respect. No Those jokes respect. are funny. <laughs> I did pay for you, man. No respect. No respect. What about when your wife saw you naked? No respect. It's confidential, son. She knows. What about whenever. Whenever a trade cheated on the test? No respect. Cheat on my test? No. Cheat on my test. Oh, he's a teacher. <laughs> You're back explaining. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've combined the log base of 5 through x plus 1. You chunk it. You chunk it. What are you doing with that? Seriously. You see? Not today, son. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to divide a log base of 5, 4x minus 3 to the raised to the 1 half, and we're going to divide it by the log base of 5, 3x plus 1 squared times x squared plus 6. So the way we're going to do that is going to be log base of 5, 4x minus 3 to the 1. Go soon, go soon. Sir, just keep explaining. I'll take care of him. So we're going to divide it by 3x plus 1 raised to the second power times x squared plus 6. And that is our new log. Sir, I really need to go to the restroom. Can I go? No. He's Please. your teacher. Oh. Can you go to the restroom? No. No respect, no respect. Aaron Zamora, Randy Cortesa, Karen Munoz. That's great! Get rid of the one half power, what we're going to do is going to square root the 4x minus 3. So. Sir, can I leave? No, not yet. Yes, sir. It's against right. the law. And that's it. <laughs>